Hello everybody, I'm Lily Rose and welcome back to a new Do It Yourself video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to make your own zero waste reusable cotton pads when you don't have a sewing machine at your disposal. I've wanted to make the switch for a while now, but I never really found them in store in my location and the ones online are really expensive and I had no way of knowing if they would be exactly the way I want them. So the best and most affordable solution for me was to just make them myself. However, I currently don't own a sewing machine and it's not really something I can afford or justify spending money on. So I had to get creative and well, find an alternative. And yeah, this is where the fabric glue comes in. I honestly didn't think it would work as well as it did, but after doing a trial and being really happy with the result, I decided to make a bunch more and show you the process. But before we get into the tutorial, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and join the family. And yes, now let's start. To make these cotton pads, you will obviously need some cotton fabric. I used 100% cotton flannel in both white and black. Something in the size of your desired cotton pads. For this, I used different kinds of glassware. Fabric glue that is resistant to washing in warm or hot water. I will link some that I found on Amazon in the description box below. Some hat pins, scissors, and something to draw on your fabric. Here I have some red chalk, but you will later see I actually ended up using a pencil. For the fabric, I honestly recommend going 100% cotton, more specifically, like I said, cotton flannel, which is super soft and fluffy for your skin, yet very strong and will hold really well together. However, keep in mind that not every 100% cotton fabric will be this soft and fluffy. So what I would recommend is try to buy locally so you can touch it. Or if you buy online, make sure that it's a soft material from photos or descriptions or just ask customer service. If you would prefer to just recycle something, try using a soft t-shirt that you don't want anymore. Now, this next step is completely optional, but just to make the whole process of filming this video easier, I measured out a piece that was about the size of my cup and I ripped it off. Honestly, the thing is, I just always wanted to rip fabric like this. You always see seamstress doing this. And the thing is, I've never really worked with fabric to try this out. So <laughs> that was mostly it, but it also really helps working with just a smaller piece of fabric. But honestly, it's completely optional. You don't have to do it. Just do it if it makes working easier. If not, just work with the whole fabric. Now fold your fabric in the middle since we will be cutting out two equal pieces and add some pins to keep everything in place. Get your cup and trace around it. As you can see, I ended up using a pencil for this because in person you could actually see it pretty well, but it doesn't really translate that way onto video. So I went over it with chalk. By the way, a little thing I noticed, if you will be using a light pencil like I did, I recommend folding the fabric with the good side out this way, everything is already in place for later. If you use something like chalk or something that leaves a little bit more of a mark behind, fold it with the good sides in, so you're working on the rougher side and the one that will be hidden later. Now make sure that there is a pin inside each of the circles to keep the two pieces together and then cut them out. Now, 
Now, in case they aren't already, make sure you have the good sides facing outwards on both sides. Now, I added four pins to the cotton pads to make sure that everything would stay in place, but honestly, just one in the middle does exactly the same job. After making a few, I started to skip this step and I noticed that it's not really necessary. Now get your fabric glue and squeeze a big blob of it onto something that you can throw out later as it will be ruined with the glue. And this can be a piece of paper or plastic or whatever you have at hand. Now get your cotton pad and dip it sideways into the fabric glue and start rotating. You want the edges to be fully covered in glue and also a little bit into the fabric so it creates kind of like a wrap of glue over the edges. Make sure to really cover everything on the edges or else your pads will come undone in the wash. As you can see, basically what we are doing is recreating the seam but with glue. Now leave them to dry overnight, preferably over a glass or something similar so the edges aren't touching anything. I also decided to make a few in black which were to remove makeup and I added a little bit of terry cloth in the middle. This way the cotton pads will hold on to a little bit more product which is excellent to remove makeup. For this, you will be doing exactly the same as before, but basically just cut out a piece of terry cloth that is about one centimeter or half an inch smaller than your cotton pad size. I was able to repurpose an old towel that I had, which I honestly recommend. That way you don't have to buy extra fabric. Now sandwich the terry cloth in the middle of the cotton flannel and add pins around the edges to press them down. For these cotton pads you will need the pins or else there will be a gap. As before, roll it through the glue and let it dry and you're done! I have been using them and honestly loving it. They feel just like cotton pads but are reusable. And by making them yourself, you can make them different sizes that just fit your needs. I actually later on made a bunch more that are really small for my exfoliants, that way I don't have to use that much product. Obviously, in the future, I do want to make these with a sewing machine, they just look better, but for right now, I think this is a super cheap alternative. And once they are dirty, pop them into a washing bag like this, and wash them at a warm or hot setting depending on your glue. They will come out fresh and ready to be used again. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here. Here are a few more videos that you might find interesting and I see you next time. Bye!